Hey everybody, JT here, and I wanted to talk to you about the best ways to prepare for this upcoming community day. Because as we all know, we're going to be getting Charmander for this next one, and obviously we're going to be getting Shiny Charmander, which means, of course, Shiny Charizard, which is phenomenal. I am so excited for that. He is like the best Shiny in the game, so I'm very excited for it. But I also thought that if we are correct in presuming that he's getting Blast Burn, I mean, Venusaur got Frenzy Plant, so obviously we're probably going to get Blast Burn. That's going to make Charizard the highest DPSer in the game, probably. Like, above Moltres, probably above Alakazam, and that's pretty great. You really want to have a good Charizard for this event, because obviously you only have that three-hour window in order to find, or to get him. So yeah, I have this really cool list made by the Leak Duck that we're going to get into, and yeah, we're just going to talk about all these little tips and tricks for you to get a really good Charmander so that we can get the best Charizard possible. Now, I'm sure it goes without saying, you obviously want to find yourself a good nest, because obviously running into as many Charmanders as possible gives you the highest chances of finding a 100% or a 98 or something like that, and I know I just said I wasn't a huge fan of the uh, maps at the time because they gave me a little bit of rest, so I was happy they were gone, but now I kind of wish they were here because I want to find a really good Charmander, but you can also hatch them out of 5k eggs. I did hatch at a 98%, though he's got a 15 in HP and defense, not attack, so that kind of sucks, but a 14 in attack's not bad either, so he'll probably become a Blast Bird Charizard, but... Yeah, there's also a few different like tips that you can use in order to uh, get yourself a good one by using our research system that's been recently added. And you used to be able to get them from raids, but then they took those away, sadly. I really didn't capitalize on that. I really should have. But yeah, anyways, let's get into these researches and figure out the best way you can find a really good one. So, right here we have ourselves the list of the uh, researches you want to find in order to get yourself a Charmander. The first one is Battle in a Gym. I've, I personally have gotten this one a few times, and the rewards that you can get from it are a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, a Mankey, a Poliwag, a Houndour, and a Nummel. Now, I've gotten this thing about six to seven times, and each and every single time it's been a Houndour, so I don't know how accurate this one is, but, you know, give it a shot. It's really easy to do, so, you know, just go for it, and if you get a Charmander, good for you, that's great. But the max CP you want to find on that Charmander is going to be 356. If you find one of those, you have 100%, and anything close to that, obviously, you want to catch, because you might have a 15 in attack, and that's all that really matters when it comes to this guy right now. But yeah, so yeah, 356 Charmander, you're gold. Otherwise, you know, if it's really low, probably just run away from it, or keep the candies. So yeah, the next one is win a gym battle. Again, very easy. I've personally done this one a few times, but I've only gotten Bulbasaur and Squirtle, but obviously Charmander's probably on that pool if I get those two. And yeah, very easy still, you know, just get in there, get out once, win, it's not hard to do at all. The next one is make three great curveball throws in a row. This one's a bit difficult. I've only been able to do this like two or three times personally, and it's been been a little difficult, but now that there's Whalmers around for until the 30th, I believe, so it's starting to run out, so definitely try to capitalize on this, but yeah, Whalmers everywhere make it a lot easier, because the hitbox on a Whalmer is, like, gigantic, so, you know, don't no problems there, and yeah, uh, if you find a Charmeleon uh, one of these, then you want to get a 636, that's the uh, max CP on a 100% uh, encounter, so... Definitely, if you find something or close to it, catch it, because again, getting this Charmeleon's good, because you only have to spend 100 candies now in order to make it a uh, Charizard, instead of, you know, 125 to go from Charmander to Charmeleon to Charizard, so, this one's a good one to find, and if you get a good uh, Charmeleon, then that's wonderful. And then, the last one is power up a Pokemon five times, easy, I do it all the time, so, like, I purposely maxed out my, uh, shiny whale lord that I got recently just because I thought it would be kind of fun to use for this and I got a squirrel from it of course but I also did get a Charmander one time from this so you know this definitely it's proven to work for me so here's hoping you guys will get a good one but yeah so far all the Charmanders that I've gotten are pretty terrible but yeah I mean again you can get them out of 5k eggs those are still kind of rare, but again, the uh, researches and eggs are the guaranteed ways of getting at least a 70 to 100%, like, or maybe it's 67 to 100, I don't quite remember, but yeah. So, you know, these are definitely good ways. Otherwise, you gotta get lucky and find one of the wild, which, again, is not guaranteeing a good one in the slightest. In fact, you could probably get a really bad one, but still candies for the event, so. Yeah, hopefully you found this a little bit informative. And with that, this is going to be the end of the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe, comment down below, are you excited for Shiny Charizard? Because I sure am. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.